Hey everybody, my name is Bailey and I'm going to be explaining one of the most important organs in our body today, the heart. So an organ is like one puzzle piece of our body and all of the organs like puzzle pieces come together to form one complete body and they all have different parts and jobs that help keep us healthy. So the heart is about the size of an apple and it sits in your chest which is a little bit below your neck and your shoulders, and it sits right there in the middle, a little to the left, and it's under that hard part that you can feel if you touch your skin under the ribs. And the heart is really, really important. It's one of the most important organs in our body, and it's made up of four different chambers. So the upper are the left and right atrium, and the lower are the left and right ventricles. So four parts, four chambers, upper and lower. So the upper are the atrium and the lower are the ventricles. I'm gonna bring you down here to explain a little bit more about the heart. So up here we have the right atrium, up here we have the left atrium, right here we have the right ventricle, and right here we have the left ventricle. Red is the deoxygenated blood that we need to get oxygenated to keep us healthy. And the blue is the oxygenated blood that goes into our bodies to keep us healthy. So you know how we have to take a lot of deep breaths? That's because we're getting the air, which is made of oxygen, into our body, into our lungs, so that it can be used by the heart to pump throughout our body to keep us healthy. So with the heart, the blood starts in the upper right atrium so it comes in here, where the, it's, and it's deoxygenated. So it's like really, really tired, really tired blood. It's like when you really need a nap. So it's really tired, it doesn't have much oxygen, and it needs us to take some deep breaths. So it starts in the right atrium and enters the heart, and then it goes through the tricuspid valve, which is this little piece right here, this little pretzel, to the right ventricle, which pumps the blood through the pulmonary artery, which is up here, and into the lungs. And then we take a deep breath, and all of that oxygen, all that air that we breathe in, mixes with that blood, and we feel better. And then all that really oxygen-rich blood travels back through the pulmonary vein, which is right here, into the left atrium, through the mitral valve, which is this other pretzel, into the left ventricle. And then it's pumped all the way out to the rest of your body. So it's really, really important that we keep taking those deep breaths or our lungs fill up and they can help change these red M&Ms to blue M&Ms. It's like our blood's really tired when it's red and when we take a deep breath, it's like it took a nap and then it got all this blue M&Ms and we're full of oxygen. It's kind of like pumping up a basketball or a float at the pool or a balloon. That's how the heart, it works like a pump. Like when we pump up that basketball or blow up a balloon, it blows up and gets small as we take our deep breaths. So it's a really long journey, but it's really important that we keep our heart healthy because it does all these important jobs for us. Sometimes we'll have something wrong with our heart. And in this case, there's something called an aortic stenosis which is when we're a little baby and we're in mommy's tummy and our heart doesn't develop the way it should. So it's not getting as big as it should. So in aortic stenosis, the aortic valve, which is over here, is too small and narrow. It can't open as big as it wants, it's too little. And we need it to open bigger. So if it was a lot smaller than the pretzel needed to be, more like a little spaghetti noodle. So it's too small. And then this heart, the heart has to work so hard to push blood through that teeny tiny spaghetti noodle instead of a big old pretzel. Um, so it has a hard time pushing the blood through this valve because the valve isn't the right size, kind of like wearing the wrong shoe. So over time, because the blood, the heart is having to work so, so hard to push blood through this tiny little valve, it becomes really weak and tired. It's like if we run, run, run all day long, and we're not used to running all day, we're just used to running one soccer game, but today we played 20 soccer games, and so we're extra, extra tired. So that happens when the 
heart's having to work way too hard to push blood through that tiny little valve. Several types of procedures and treatments can help that. So sometimes a doctor will come and put a balloon into that teeny tiny little valve and then blow it up and it helps stretch the valve from a tiny spaghetti noodle into a really big pretzel. And that's really like what you think it is. It's like a little balloon and it's going to go in your body and it's going to blow up really big and small so then the heart doesn't have to work as hard. It sounds really scary, but doctors are really smart and it'll make us feel a lot better and it'll help all these blue and red M&Ms. I got all my information on aortic stenosis from Kids Health for Nemours um, by Stephen Ritz. Thanks.